Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your yearly read for 2021. Can you believe we have made it to there almost? So let's see what energies have we got. This is going to be a general reading so just take what feels right and leave the rest. Uh, there will also be an extended uh, extended reading where we'll look into um, career, money and relationships in more detail in the I'm breaking the years up into quarters, so the four quadrants of the year. And we'll get some spirit messages for you as well, some special messages from the higher vibrations. So, Cancer, this reading we're going to look at general energies coming in. We have Laswana, the Glacona. Ooh, and the fairy godmother. So quadrant one, which is January to March, we have Tobiah of the Waters. The fairy who is kissed by the pixies is quadrant two, which is April to June. Ooh, Ecstasis, which is July to September, quadrant three. And the Master Maker, which is quadrant four, October to December. And things transforming on a deep level, we have Arvel Parrot, we have Sylvanius, and we have the Singer of Initiation and Message from the Universe. We have Faf the Fufa. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay. I'm just going to pull some right away energies to come out just as supporting energies for this as well, Cancer. And then we're going to get started. Okay, quadrant one, we have the Queen of Swords with Tobira of the Waters. We have the Chariot with the Fairy who was kissed by the Pixies in number two, quadrant two. Quadrant three, we have the Seven of Swords. And quadrant four, we have Judgment with Master Maker. Okay, so let's get start. Let's start it, shall we, Cancer? So as an overall energy... You have Lesguana, number 39. And it's kind of really acknowledging where you've been and where it is that you're going. And it's saying, yes, there has been some hardships. There Indeed, there has been. A, but are you ready to leap now? Are you ready to... Are you ready to release yourself from that? Are you ready to release a burden that you may have been carrying around are you ready and it's all these these questions that are coming out here cancer and it's very much a question of trusting the universe are you ready to take that leap and trust the universe and step into the unknown because it does feel like there's a lot of new energy coming around that full energy but it's all very much understanding the past knowledge and part understanding the sooner you can understand the storm that you've been through the sooner the light can come through from that so yeah it is actually you're kind of poised right on the edge between two worlds the past and the future and if you can sit in that present energy then you're able to let that go the burdens of the past the hurts of the past and the expectations of the future and if you can get find yourself in that space where you're just right in the center in that present that's when you're ready to leap into the unknown so yeah it's quite a balancing act it's quite you quite quite poised so your challenges is the glancona and this is very much a this is very much where you think you're going, holding an ideal vision of where it is that you think you're going, trying to control where it is that you're going. Because uh, I do feel like there's a something on a higher level coming in for you. And so you've got your plan in your head where this is all happening and what, what would be ideal, what the ideal thing that would happen. But if you go down that path, you kind of could get lured down that path for a little while and anything that is illusionary, that isn't working, that isn't real down that path will actually be exposed 
and that's when you will fall. So there is this uh, sense that you there will be a test as to what is that you really want, be able to see that very clearly and without any illusions and to be able to, again, trust the universe, trust that there's a higher power that's guiding you here, Cancer, rather than your own um this is what I'm being told, limited view of what it is that you or where it is that you think you're going because there's something unknown and bigger and better. So it's just about letting go of um, expectations, really, letting go a lot of that. Uh, so, But you also have as an outcome the fairy godmother. So, again, there's something very, you are going to, something very special about this year very guided there's magic coming in the fairy godmother comes in and just just when you like when if you that glancona energy can lead you down a path that is feels like at the beginning the right path and then you end up stumbling and the fairy godmother is kind of the one that comes in just as you're about to fall and picks you up and takes you somewhere special and creates some magical opportunity for you so that's why it's almost like um to release any ideas or expectations because it's saying no no matter how you fail, there will be this energy that will pick you up and bring something very special into your life. There's this special blessing that's coming through here, but it's coming in unexpected means. For some of you, this could be a person as well. This could be a benefactor, someone that actually comes in and helps you, but you might not know who they are. So... There's a bit of magic dust around this fairy godmother energy. You're being looked after and guided. So don't worry too much about where you end up or if you end up down a path that you don't think you're happy with because it's saying you will be very strongly guided out of that and looked after. So, yeah, beautiful. There's some magic blessings coming through for you. So quadrant one, which is January to March, we have the Queen of Swords and Tobira of the Waters. And it's very much, it's interesting because this is your head kind of um, submitting to your heart, saying to your heart, go ahead, go ahead. I give you free pass. I give you free reign to follow what it is that you love here. So there's this love, there's this connection, there's this emotional energy coming through here and it's going to be what's guiding you. Your heart is going to guide you in this first quadrant and your head's like kind of very much on, on the same page. It's like go ahead, follow follow your heart here and it will flow. There will be healing. There will be energy that comes back here. There can be new love coming through. There can be new passion. There can be following your intuition, psychic, a very psychic sense that there's a calling for you. So yeah, your head is not getting in the way here. It's giving you free reign, which is actually really, really positive. So quadrant two, we have the fairy who was kissed by the pixies and the chariot. And here you are, Cancer. <laughs> Here's all the love coming to you. So much love coming in the first half of the year for you, Cancer. And the fact that your mind and head has gotten out of the way and allowed for that to flow, it just expands in this second quarter. And suddenly there's even more feelings of feeling blessed, the flow of love, healing in relationships. There's just love, 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 love coming to you. So it's beautiful because the chariot, that is you. And so any of those areas where you might have had your defences up or you might be, you know, we all have defences in whatever relationship we have. Whenever we interact with each other, there's something, there's some kind of defensive block. But it's a place where you're feeling quite safe and protected. Again, it's a safe and protected space so that this healing can come for, for you. So, yeah, it's hugs, hugs, a lot of figures, physical contact, uh, yeah, new loves. For some of you, this is a lovely time to get married. Um, but there's also just a lot of love coming to you from the universe in unexpected places. So very much a journey of the heart, the first half of the year, and some very deep healing coming in on that level, on the in the water element, which is your element coming directly to you, Cancer. 
And then in the quadrant three, July to September, we had ex- we have ecstasis, which is this complete joy, um, ecstasy, this ecstatic energy coming through. And the Seven of Swords is kind of like, I'm not going back there again. I'm not going back, not to any place that hurt me. No. It's like I'm taking my stuff and going, I'm heading towards this ecstasy. <laughs> I'm heading towards what brings me such great joy. I'm not... I'm not I'm not going back to areas where I feel limited, where I feel there's too many um, restrictions, where I feel like I have to live by someone else's rules. It's very much that I'm on this journey, this huge journey of my heart, and it just goes from strength to strength to strength. There's a little there's a flow coming back and then it grows bigger the love and then suddenly it turns into this ecstasy. So it's very much saying I'm not accepting anything other than that. So, yeah, uh, it's really uh, positive, beautiful energy coming through for you. And then in the last quadrant of the year, quarter four, October to December, we have the Master Maker and Judgment. And this is where people will finally get what it is that you've been doing. There might be people that are kind of going, what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing that? And you're like, because it's bringing me all this joy. And they're like, but it doesn't make any sense in my rational brain. And you're like, I don't care. I'm following this sense of ecstasy and joy and connection that I'm getting on my heart level. And finally, finally in quadrant four, it's like people understand you. They finally see that you've le- reached a level of mastery over something. And finally, they get it. So this could be the mastery over following your heart and stepping into your happiness and your joy. It could be mastery over a skill. You know, following your heart could have been starting a new job, following a hobby, which turns into a job, taking up some kind of practice, being really, really good at something. But all your unique skills and abilities are going to be on display to be judged by people. Uh, So this could be a completion of projects, exhibitions, things coming out um, onto the market. It's that that sort of thing. But I do feel like you're in such a state now that you're almost immune to other people's uh, judgments because you found this this, um, wonderful sense of being inside yourself, this sense of ecstasy, like I said. So you're actually understanding it's just other people's mirroring and projections. I do feel like most of it is positive, but with anything that you put out there, you you can't ever please everybody. So you will get some negative things, but I feel like it's water off a duck's back uh, energy. So in terms of your heart area and your emotional well-being, this it's really like this year has really been about understanding that pure love and following your heart can actually bring this great draw, joy and that you follow that you follow that rather than listening to this rational side and other people's advice and opinion telling you otherwise. So, yeah, it's really amazing. So we have as a deep energy that's transforming, we have Arvel Parrot, and it's very much saying me, 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 listen to me, listen to me. This is what I have to say. And so it's about speaking your truth, Cancer. And this is a deep down energy that's being transformed, whether this is a subconscious block, something you've held on to, something you've been wanting to say for a long time, expressing to you truly are, very much aligned to the throat chakra if you are are into the chakras and understand them. Then, yeah, it's very much speaking your truth. But it's like me, 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 you need to listen to me. So that's kind of the energy that's coming out here. We also have Sylvanius, which is kind of saying, yeah, I've been through the ringer. This is very much um, letting go of other people's opinions, like we were saying, letting go of other people's idea of projection of your value in life and connecting back in with your own value. Uh, and an ancient old part of yourself as well. It's a reclaiming of yourself here. So, yeah, it's an incredibly powerful year for that for you, Cancer. And then we have also transforming on a deeper level, the singer of initiation. Wow. So I do feel like there's a lot of um, healing, especially around uh, for 
the women out there, uh, the female reproductive areas, the womb. I'm getting very much the womb. So this could be, if you're not, this could just be in general related to your birth, healing around your birth and how that played out for you. Uh, for women who are, it, for some women it can be giving birth, uh, how you gave birth, healing around that. Uh, but anyway, it's it's to do with your relationship with how you came into the world for everybody and how that's affected you on a very deep cellular physical level. And there's also this relationship to your mother and your very first, I'm getting very, very first, early, early first impressions of human life. And this is something that's being healed and transformed on a very deep level. And you might have had a really positive uh, first experience but it's kind of bringing it to uh, like a higher understanding of the meaning of what that all meant. So, and if it, if it was something that was quite traumatic, it's actually, it's bringing everything up to a much higher vibration. Again, bringing a higher understanding of what happened and why it, why it happened and what it meant. And through that high vibration, it, it has this effect through the cells of your body, the divine feminine. So, yeah, it's uh, very... Um, potent energy here coming through here. So message from the universe, we have Faf the Fufas. And it's saying make sure that you take time out during this journey to really understand where it is that you've come from. Again, it's taking pause. It's You might need um, Moments like plan some retreats for the year or some holidays away, some time for rest and recovery because you're going to need it. You're going to need to uh, be able to assimilate a lot of this energy that's coming in, this really high, pure energy of love that's coming for you this year, Cancer. You're going to need some time to just assimilate that into your physical body. So there is a need for you to look after yourself, uh, understand where it is that you're going, take yeah, take some breaks. So that's the important message coming through for you there. So thank you so much for joining me, Cancer. That's it for this reading. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. I'd love it if you could come over with me because we're going to have a look at money, career and love and relationships. And we're also going to get some messages from some spirit messages for you. So if you'd love to go over there, I've just got the Ace of swords has just come out for you so that's really positive as well if you'd like to go over there the link is in the description box below uh, and just click on that link and go to your sign and if this is where we're leaving you and you enjoyed this and it resonated please like subscribe and leave a comment or share take care cancer have a wonderful 2021 i'll see you next time bye